Prince is from here. One of these times, I'm gonna trip you guys up with like this long 30 second intro, but not today, I'm SD, and today we are talking about sewing machine needles. Now yeah, we get it, sewing machines can do a lot of different things, blah, 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 but we don't care, we just wanna make our clothes fit better. So, we really only need to know about two different needles. And yes, there's certain needles that you wanna use for certain jobs, but just because you're using that needle doesn't mean that it can't do other things. Okay, let me give you an example. You can use a denim needle on a t-shirt perfectly fine, but it's probably not gonna do a very good job. You might end up breaking the needle or you might end up with some skip stitches and it's just all that nonsense. Now you and your machine, it probably came with a needle, right? Good! Well that needle right there, that needle's probably this big overall encompassing universal needle. And a universal needle is just that. It can sew everything. And I use a universal needle on, well, pretty much everything. I use it on t-shirts, I use it on dress shirts, I use it on dress pants, and I even use it on denim sometimes, which I'll explain in a second. Oh, and uh, there's some numbers on the side of the needle, which I'll get to that too. Just don't worry. Now, denim needles are just that. Denim needles are made for denim. Can you use a denim needle on a t-shirt? Yeah but it's not made for that. And when I say denim, I mean that thick old school cowboy from Wyoming who doesn't know how to quit you kind of denim. Now modern denim in my experience is completely different. And I use a universal needle on most of my denim because a lot of modern day denim is actually a lot thinner than old school denim. And they end up putting a lot of like, things like rayon in them to make them like a little bit more elastic, which to me is great because I gotta do something for this big old badonka donk. But hey, SD, my machine didn't come with a needle. What do I do? Okay, 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 yes, you can go on Amazon and you can find some needles, but it might not say universal needle or denim needle, it might have some numbers on there. But what do those numbers mean? I don't get it, I'm so confused. Just, just don't worry. Those numbers just kind of mean how big is a shaft. One number is European and the other number is American. American sizes go from eight to 19. Eight is for thinner fabrics and 19 is for thicker fabrics. And European sizes go from 60 to 120. 60 is for thinner fabrics and I'm gonna give you one guess as to what 120 is. You got one guess. Okay, you can you can have a couple because I don't know, I like you. Now what they actually do is it's kind of confusing but it's not confusing at the same time. They combine both of those numbers with the European number coming first and the American number coming second. So that means 60 8 is gonna be for thinner fabrics and it's gonna work its way all the way up to 100 16 for thicker fabrics like denim or canvas. Okay, I get that, SD, but you were talking earlier about a universal needle. You didn't say anything about numbers. What's a universal needle? Okay, relax. A universal needle is really kind of just straight down the middle. It's gonna be around 80-12, somewhere around there. And yeah, it can handle a lot of different types of materials, but like we talked about, it's not necessarily gonna do a great job at everything. I had to find that out the hard way. So upgrading your needle should be priority number one when you get a sewing machine because nothing sucks more than going and tailoring a dress shirt and then you have your needle break. Like honestly, right in the middle, your needle will break. And then you gotta explain to your family why there's a sewing machine with a dress shirt tucked into it sitting on the dining room table. When everybody's ready to eat dinner, you're like, shut up, I'm going to Joanne Fabrics after we're done eating pizza, okay? Get off my back! So if you see numbers on the side of your needle and not names or anything else, just follow this guide. Oh, and you might see a needle that's made for stretch fabrics too. Get that, they're awesome. They're really good for workout pants and they're like two bucks. Everyone's sleeping, so maybe I should stop yelling. SD out, deuces.